Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Aquaponics World and um, today I'm going to be just doing a quarter water change out on the fish tank. Uh, changing out the water on the plant tank and I'll just be uh, dumping this water out putting some new uh, new water in from the fish tank and uh, using some of this uh, clean water that I have back here um, to replace some of the dirty water in the fish tank just to kind of get things a little bit clearer have some fresh nutrients for the plants as you can see this these leaves are coming out really big the first thing I'm going to do is just take a uh, five, empty five gallon tote and I'm going to get some water some dirty fish water for my uh, for my plants so I'm just going to close the uh, the out valve and open the uh, service valve or whatever you want to call that and that will put some of the dirty water from the fish tank into this five gallon tote here and I still think I'm feeding them a little bit too much so I'll work on that but um, one thing that I noticed was that the uh, goldfish food and the, uh, the tropical fish food were exactly the same ingredients. The uh, goldfish food, I went through each ingredient and um, checked them off to make sure that each one of these was inside the uh, tropical fish food, and it is. Um, there was a little bit more of the, uh, like, you know the difference of percentages of each thing was a little tiny bit different but pretty much exactly the same product i just thought that was kind of funny the exact same ingredients now that that's full i will just go ahead and shut this valve off and open the out back up attach this hose back onto the top here And that way I can uh, replace the uh, plant water. So I'll just take this plant, these plants out. And um, take this bucket out, dump this bucket out the window. Set this bucket up here. Add one of these little tablets here to it for the micronutrients and then that way the uh, plants will be getting some fresh nutrients in there. So I'll just set this guy back into this new water and uh, set this guy back in here and I just got to make sure that the uh, that this uh, stem is above the water that the roots are below the water. This stem here, um, that's interesting. I'm not too sure if the whole stem was under the water or not. I think this stem was under the water, which um, I'm not 100% sure on because I do remember that this was above the water, but that's the way it's going to stay. And then this one, the roots are in the water, the plant's above the water, so we're good there. So I've already removed five gallons of water out of the tank. And because the water's a little bit dirty, I'm gonna add, take a little more. Oh yeah, I am gonna just add one of these little tablets here for the micronutrients in there. And I'm gonna just dump this water out the window. And, uh, get some more of this water out of the fish tank so I'll go ahead and run this line out my window and 
close off the out and open this valve up and pump some of this water out my window. So that's about a quarter of the water right there. So I'll just go ahead and come over here and close this off, open this back up, and uh, I can reattach this hose. to the lid there. And as you can see, the uh, water starts pumping out of this right here. Now I can just kind of scrub off the glass and, uh, and then I'll add some more of that clean water back there, back into it. Okay, so I got the glass all cleaned off. So now all I gotta do is just add some of this clean water back in there. So I'll just take this uh, service hose, put it into here. And I got a little trick so I don't have to hold on to it. Just stick an edge into this side right here. And then uh, I'm gonna close the in and open up the service valve. And then I'm just going to suck all this water out. Now this has been sitting here for two weeks, so it's getting kind of nasty. Um, definitely wouldn't suggest keeping your water sitting in the uh, in the uh, reserve tank for more than a week. But uh, I had filled up two, and that's why I, I left this one empty this time. Because for the next three weeks, I'll just be doing water change outs. And that's basically all I have to do for uh, a month. You know, is just uh, do a quarter water change out. And like I said, I didn't measure it this time. I just shot the water out the window and dropped it down to visually about a quarter of my water. But um, hopefully I have enough in this 25 gallon fish tank to fill it back up. If not, if it doesn't get completely full, that's fine. My main goal is just to swap out some dirty water with some clean water. And uh, once this tank is empty, I will be all done with this. And that's all I gotta do to grow my plants. Um, my, my plants, I don't water them. I don't have to do anything to them. The only thing that I do for the plants is a, is a weekly water change out. And um, so for me, I mean, it helps to not have to, you know, remember, oh, did I water the plants? I don't have to set up a irrigation drip on them, you know, running water into the soil all day. So it doesn't, uh, doesn't save water at the moment, but it's not wasting a lot of water either, you know. Um, it just sits in this same water all week and uh, seems to be growing okay. The squash is doing okay. Um, going to add some more squash probably in the next couple of weeks, but I just wanted to touch bases with you guys, let you know, um, this is the process that I'm doing a weekly water change out. And then, um, so I did one of those last week and this is my second one. I have two more weeks of just doing and, this. Uh, I've had this guy for over a year now. We're going on two years with this Monsteris. And uh, he's been hydroponic the entire time since I got him out of a pot from Lowe's. Um, he was in a pot in uh, soil and I just shook the soil off and rinsed off his roots and stuck him in a tote. Um, I was using the uh, hydroponics fertilizer to begin with for the first couple of months. Um, actually until just recently, about a month ago. And it's been about a month since these new leaves formed and he has just been growing in the uh, fish water. So I think he's really liking the, the fish water for fertilizer. So it just goes to show you there is some good fertilizer in your fish water. And we're just about full. So this is working out just Get great. down to the very bottom of my water. And what I don't wanna do is suck air into this line 
and we are really close. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. Oh, started sucking in some water, so had to go ahead and shut it off, but um, got it just about to the top, which is fine. And I can go ahead and um, reattach this hose to the top up here. And then I will just add <coughs> my water hose to the bucket. Huh, doesn't matter really which one I use. I guess I'll use this one. But uh, go ahead and add my water hose and turn on my water and fill this tank up from the sink. The only thing I regret is having let this water sit in here for two weeks. Um, got kind of nasty. So I am going to have to wash this reservoir tank off and hopefully the water that I added in there isn't too nasty for these guys. Um, you know, it's sitting indoors, so we're not going to get too much going on in here. But, you know, I'm adding... I'm just adding water with my uh, with my hose here that's hooked up to my sink, and so the 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 reason that I have to do this is because there is chlorine in the tap water. So, you know, I've had my water tested and it's got good pH, it's got uh, good hardiness. You know, it's not too hard, not too soft. It's it's okay. But last time I filled up two of these tanks because I usually need two of these tanks because I'm doing stuff with filters and I'm doing this and that. But uh, we don't have to mess with the filters at all for a month. Um, and uh, so we do a monthly maintenance on this guy here. So once a month I will need a couple of tanks of water so that I can do stuff like fill this, fill this tank back up and um, because to prime this tank, you know, first you drain the water to open it up and take the stuff out, but then you have to fill it back up. So that's an extra couple of gallons of water. And, um, this is about a quarter of my water right here. So this, one of these works pretty good, 25 gallons. It's kind of weird because this is a 25 gallon fish tank and a 50 gallon fish tank. So you would think this would be half of my water, but I don't know, their measurements might not be cor correct. I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up. We'll let this water sit for a week, and um, that's about the extent of everything that I have to do with this fish tank. Um, and I said, uh, it's pretty easy taking care of the fish. Um, you know, one cool thing about these fish, the glow fish and the gold fish, they're pretty easy maintenance. The, uh, the temperature in my in the room is uh, 78, you know, somewhere between 70 and and uh, and 85 tops. I try to keep it about 78 in here, so the water temperature remains about 78 as well. Water temperature stays about the temperature of the room. So, you know, I don't have to add a chiller or a heater, you know, to heat up the water or chill the water down at all. So it's pretty easy maintenance. Um, just once a week, you know, doing a water change out. All right, so I took this um, and cleaned it. And it just reminded me that I did want to touch base with you guys on how heavy these fish tanks are. Um, full of water. Two guys, three guys I don't think could lift that thing. I'm not sure on the exact weight. But this is a 25-gallon tank. Talking about a 50-gallon tank, there's no way that two, three guys are gonna pick this up with water in it. Um, we're talking about at least, at least 600 pounds. I don't know, I'm just guessing ballpark. But anyway, um, I'm sure there's a measurement that we could do to calculate how much it weighs. But I just wanted to touch base on how I had to clean this because I let it sit out for two weeks. It had gotten some like foam on the sides there. I had to take it downstairs and shower it in the shower. So that meant I had to pick it up and take it down there. So I just want to remind anybody that hasn't yet gotten their fish tanks yet, hasn't yet decided on going big, um, you know, reservoir tanks and stuff like that. Just remember that, you know, you're going to need two guys, 
to pick up the 50 gallon fish tank empty just to bring it where you want to put it and um, you're going to need a pump or at least a uh, wet vac shop vac something to suck out all the water uh, if you ever do want to move it and um, you're not going to be able to move it full of water so you're going to need you know to take the fish and put them into a smaller tank if you ever need to move your big giant tank here so just plan on that and same thing with these tanks here just remember you know like a couple of people is nice i can lift this up by myself but you know um if you're a smaller person you may need two people just to lift the 25 gallon so that's it for this week uh pretty easy stuff you know like i said um you know you should never have to take this and move it anywhere um you know, so it shouldn't be a big deal with as far as how heavy it is. Once you get it into place, you get a couple of guys to help you out, move it into place, fill it up with water and stuff, you should be good to go. Um, I do suggest if you have a 50 gallon tank that you have two 25 gallon tanks for reserves because these are easier to move around and stuff like that. The fish love the big tanks to swim around in, but you don't need a big tank for uh, your reserve water. And the reason for the reserve water is so that I don't have to use any of the uh, water conditioner because I'm growing um, squash using the fish water. So this is an aquaponic system and um, the plants are just loving the fish water. There's no other, there's uh, no other, uh, you know, hydroponics um, fertilizer. I'm not putting this in there anymore. Um, I've replaced this uh, expensive hydroponics fertilizer and I say expensive I mean it, this is a great deal for what you're doing with the hydroponics but when you switch over to aquaponics you can get rid of all these uh, these nutrients that make a, a bad color I mean obviously it's a red color you don't want to put this water back into your fish tank and have your fish tank be all red you want to have a nice clean fish tank to look at your fish so, um, you know, I did use a little tablet, but it doesn't turn the water a red color. And um, next week I will be testing the water to see uh, how much ammonia is in there. Um, I'm not gonna be using any pH up or pH down or anything like that. I just wanna test it out and see how bad this water is after a week. Cause this plant is getting pretty bad. And this plant might be absorbing enough of the ammonia from the water. Like I said, the uh, fish produce ammonia, which is bad for the fish. They, that's why you have to do the water quarter, quarter water change out is because your filter does not remove ammonia. Um, what your filter does is it, uh, you know, it clarifies the water a little bit with the carbon filter. Um, but mainly all this is doing is adding beneficial bacteria and that's why you have these filters in there is so that you can collect back beneficial bacteria and those sit there for, you know, three months, six months, you know, before you have to do anything with them because they're building up beneficial bacteria, which turns the ammonia into nitrate, which is uh, great for the plants, really beneficial for the plants because the plants can absorb nitrate, they can't absorb ammonia. And once, you're, uh, once your plants are absorbing the ammonia from the water, you'll be able to replace the water from here back into the fish tank. Um, not really ready to do that yet just because of how dirty this water is getting. Like I said, I am still adding a little tablet to the water, which uh, I'm trying to kind of break it up a little bit, mix it up a little bit, but um, you know, it's supposed to be kind of like a slow release, but I don't want it to be so slow that it doesn't change it in a week. But anyways, yeah, the water's still a little bit too dirty for me, for my color that I like in there. I don't know about how much uh, ammonia it has. And so I'm gonna do an ammonia test. And if it doesn't have too much ammonia, then I'm gonna start putting this water back in there. Uh, I'm not really too concerned about the color. I'm more concerned about the ammonia level in there. I wanna remove the ammonia. So hopefully at the end of the day, we'll have a uh, closed system to where I'm not throwing out any water. Um, today I threw a five gallon jug of water out, you know, not too much, you know, five gallons of water a week isn't too bad, especially considering that I'm growing plants, which I'm pretty sure in a week I would need to add about five gallons of water into soil. So I'm not wasting any water 
I'm also not wasting any soil and that's my main thing here is is to not be wasting any soil because uh, with desertification coming in the next 40 years a lot of farmers will be out of work because their soil isn't being amended and will be turning into sand which will not hold water very well and so they won't be able to grow anymore on their land because you can't uh, fix it once it's gone into sand. But thanks again for watching. I hope all you guys appreciate my uh, plethora of knowledge on uh, aquaponics here. Um, like I said, this is my first time doing it. Uh, I did go to college for a couple of years to learn about landscaping, but um, not too much knowledge on aquaponics. They, you know, we weren't learning aquaponics in school. I just went to a community college for a couple of years. Uh, it's got a certificate in turf grass management and environmental horticulture you know, two certificates, but um, I do know a little bit about this stuff, you know, and that's why I'm adding the micronutrients into this, because I know this does have NPK, but I'm not too sure about the micronutrients, so we're just adding those in there, but you can see that the iron is making this such a dark green. It's beautiful, really lush. But thanks again for uh, following along with me. I hope that you go out and get yourself a 50 gallon tank and some fish and some plants. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. Um, I was getting monetized on Instagram. Instagram decided to stop monetizing reels, which uh, was too bad for them because they're not getting any more of my content um, for free. And uh, I am looking to get another one of these $300 pumps so that I can have a filter for this uh, plant water. Um, I like to just leave this to the fish. I don't want to use it for my plants. I want to have two separate filters. So um, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, share it with your friends, all that stuff, and keep watching and uh, have a great day.